Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, this is Maverick here with episode 3 of Somali and the Forest Spirit. So, in the last episode we do learn the reason why Gollum is uh, venturing out on this journey with Somali right now in order to search for her parents. It's because Gollum himself doesn't have much longer to live, uh, maybe about an year or so, and so he needs to find Somali's parents before that happens so that she can be in good care, right? Um, so, we got... We got the basis for the story, you know, the whole reason of their epic adventure. I say epic, we don't really know yet, but anyways, um, not much else to say, so let's just get into the episode right now. Alright, let's begin in 3, 2, 1, play. I love how their money is just called money. <laughs> And again with the sunlight. Oh my god. That's not going to help your hunger. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with Golan on this one. You're just gonna make yourself more hungrier. I wonder if Golem told Somali why they're traveling though. I mean, Somali doesn't even really know about her true parents, I'm assuming. And Golem, of course, is not going to tell Somali that, hey, yeah, we're on this journey because I'm dying in a year, right? Alright, so here's the opening. Uh, I've had some comments saying that uh, they prefer if I leave this in because they want to sync up the video alongside my reaction and whatnot. So, uh, I figure, fine, let's just keep this in here, right? I normally cut it out because, um, you know, once we, once we see this once before, I always go through it and see if there's anything that catches my eye. And if not, it's the exact same thing every single episode, right? So... Not really much for me to talk about. Except that sunlight! <laughs> I guess it's a little preview of the different places they're going to go. Thank you is something that I should say. I think that's how pretty much it goes anyways. And I think the sun definitely isn't helping things. What is that? Okay, that's a little valley. I mean, gap. Or whatever. You know what, the first, even though this is like more of a slice of, well I guess maybe not slice of life, but more of a wholesome kind of anime, the first thing I thought about when seeing that gap in the valley there was, this seems to be a very easily defensible city. 
の子のように道が入り込んでいることがそうですつまり一度迷えば二度と出られない町という。How can you be lost forever? Even in a maze, you can't be lost forever. Just turn right at every junction. Or, I mean, keep a hand on the right side or the left side of the wall. You might walk to death, but you'll get out. I wonder what are Golem's other abilities. I mean, just the fact that he has his appraisal ability should. You know, somebody. That's bound to be worth something. Beef or something? Okay, it's um, his child or something. Yeah, his son. Oh, so I can see Gollum is going to help out here, and somebody's going to be playing with his son. <laughs> I 
Hmm. That seems to be a flag. I'll bet that they're going to be learning a new game before they leave. Yeah, it seems so. And how does the rest of the song go? Yeah, golems should be pretty rare for them. Let's see. Would it be that wolf we saw earlier? Okay, so this might be answering my question as to yeah, what does Somali know about this journey? Like, what's her perception of it? What did Golem tell her about this journey? So, working for a few more days. Uh, kids will be kids. with the sentimental music right now all right 
Now that it's closed, we should spend some time with Somali. She feels neglected, I guess, or something like that. You know, for an emotionless golem, he sure takes these things quite seriously. She does know about this? Oh, actually, I kind of forgot. Did they mention in the first episode that... Hmm, okay, I might just be forgetting something. Like, perhaps, uh... Golem already told Somali that, uh... You know, they're searching for her parents and whatnot. That's why the title of the episode is The Sea Underground. Okay. This entire atmosphere reminds me of a lot of the different indie games that were popular like a few years ago. You know, this same kind of aesthetic and whatnot. Glowing mushrooms. And man, that is one ugly bug. <laughs> this is the quote unquote C. Hmm. 
ルさんはコールの様をお父さんと呼んでるけど家族の立場読みしてもお兄貴とかお姉貴知ってるなって思って。So, once again, she understands the concept of what a dad is. But if that's the case, how come it was the case where when she first met Gollum, she automatically called him her dad? Unless she doesn't have parents or she doesn't know her real parents, right? And if that's the case, then how are they supposed to oh, find her parents? Even if they do find humans. That is quite pretty. I'm still waiting for that wolf character to show up in time by now. Though, you know, knowing this kind of anime, I wouldn't be surprised if he was actually one of the good guys. And they really aren't supposed to be doing this, uh, being down here because there's dangers. So it's just that thing. <laughs> this is probably the wolf character. That's an interesting retreating tactic. All right. Mm. Yeah, they've been out too long. Alright, there we go, that was this, see you guys in a second. And there we have it, the first real pinch of this series so far. So, uh, this hunter dude it obviously has something to say to Somali, um, however, before jumping to conclusions and pinning him as a bad guy, I think there's two things to note here. One is that this apparently seems to be a named character, uh, looking at the cast list at the very end there, I'm assuming that that hunter dude is actually called Mus uh, Musurika. Um, you know, it could be somebody else, but I don't think there's anybody else that fits the bill. Uh, it's most probably the hunter, right? And that typically means that this is going to be a more of a, you know, he's he's not just some, some side character or some NPC on the road, right? He's actually a major character here um, who is going to have lots of dialogue, um, in a sense. So that's one thing. The second thing is I do have my suspicion that this is entirely a false alarm. Right. And so what I mean by this is it's entirely probable that this is a hunter that may be suspicious of Somali's identity, maybe through his vast hunting experience, he recognizes uh, Somali as uh, suspiciously like a human, and that's why he wants to hunt her down and confirm this, right? That is, pos that is possible. However, the, the way that it's set up, it's also ambiguous enough to make me believe that it's, it's also possible this hunter is just a gruff old man, he has a lot of experience and whatnot, and what, he only, what he's trying to do here is really protecting these kids from going into these dangerous places and getting into dangerous situations, right? So we saw that he, uh, you know, he, he observed them uh, running off and potentially entering this place where kids are not supposed to be, and we see with good reason, because there's dangerous stuff down here, right? And so this might be, you know, one of those, uh, even though he's gruff and, and looks very mean and whatnot, but he actually just wants the best for these children. And so the reason that he's here is because he tracked them down and wants them to avoid getting into this specific kind of situation, right? 
So it's entirely possible that's how this series is going to play forward as well, considering that so far it has been a very well warm and welcoming kind of anime. So it could go either way, but honestly I'm leaning more towards the latter uh, explanation here. But we shall see in the next episode. Um, beyond that, this episode actually touched on you know, one of the questions that I asked at the very beginning, which is how exactly is Somali taking all of this, right? So, um, because in the last episode we confirmed that, okay, the reason they're on this journey is because Golem's about to die, alright? Um, however, it's pretty obvious he's not going to just tell Somali this directly, and so what exactly, what kind of excuse did he, did he use to get her to... Um, you know, to, to tell her that they are now embarking on this journey, right? So, I went back to check episode 1 again, and as far as I can tell, Somali and Golem never discussed it between themselves, and all that was mentioned was when Golem was talking to the other patrons in the inn, um, through their conversation, uh, and that was directly in front of Somali. So, obviously, she knows a little bit about what they're trying to do, right? And we can infer that she knows they are on a journey searching for humans, um, and as we can see from this episode, um, combine what, what we learned from her and how she's reacting to the entire situation, I think she also realizes that, um, you know, this, that Golem is searching for humans and the reason he's searching for humans is to possibly, uh, you know, connect Somali with these other humans and that, even though it's not uh, explicitly said, that could also mean that Golem is just going to leave Somali in their care and then he's going to return back to his home, which is the forest. Um, and so if if going down that logic, I think the most probable uh, explanation that Golem gave to Somali would probably be something like, hey, this, this is a dangerous place for you, not only in the forest, but also in the surrounding areas. All these monsters, they are actually, they want to eat humans and whatnot, so this is very dangerous for you to, to be here. Let's try and find other humans, right? Maybe not explicitly her parents, but other humans. Um, to and so yeah that's i think that's it and and somali now is making the connection that hey if they find other humans and it's entirely possible golem is not going to continue to stay with her but instead head back to the forest right now with that being said uh, there is a little loop here loophole here right so later on if somali confronts uh golem hey once we do meet meet other humans are you just going to go back to the forest and of course, Golem can answer no, right? He can answer that he's going to continue to stay with Somali and the other humans. That's entirely possible because that's not lying. That's true. It's just that he's not going to um, he's not going to admit that he's going to be dying very soon here, right? So um, not technically the truth, but of course, missing the the the, um, the really important information here. I think that's something that's going to occur in the next episode as well. Once they resolve the entire situation with the hunter, um, that's probably the way that uh, Golem is going to comfort Somali, um, and she'll be none the wiser. <laughs> so yeah, um, those are my predictions for next episode. Um, what other stuff from this episode? The music was all, was gorgeous as usual. Like it's still seriously the best thing for me out of this series so far. Um, with that being said, the song that the kid was actually singing, you know, considering that you know the lyrics, he himself also directly said that the lyrics seem to match that of Somali and and him, right? So I do wonder if that song has some kind of significance to it such as it being um, the song of the first human monster encounter, right? That's a possibility, and maybe it's all in interconnected in some way with Somali's situation as well. Hard to say. Hard to say. But yeah, anyways, that's basically it for this episode. Um, in the future, I will be keeping these review parts a little bit short as well, because honestly, there's not that much to, to go on, and analyze and break down from and from a series such as this one right so i'll probably still you know i will still be continuing to put out videos of this i was a bit on the fence but in the end i i figured hey i'm enjoying it you know i'm still going to put out my my reaction to it and you know some some of my thoughts on it and if people are interested in it then they can still watch it right but i'm not going to spend too much time um breaking down anything or analyzing anything because i just don't think that fits this series but there we go. Uh, that's my thoughts for episode 3 of Somalia and the Far Spirit. See you guys next week. Bye-bye.